What's good, y'all? It's your girl, A Luxuries, and I'm back with another video showing you all my nighttime skincare routine with having cystic acne. And I know I'm looking a little crazy right now, but it's late at night. So the first thing you want to do is brush your teeth and don't forget to brush your lips because it is the winter time. And now I'm just going to go ahead and pull my hair back so that it's not on my face. Not I'm taking long, like I got a bunch of hair. Ciao, anyways. <laughs> All right, so the first thing you want to do is wash your hands. Even if you feel like your hands are clean, just go ahead and wash your hands. And the first product we have is the Cetaphil Daily Cleanser. Now, I use about two pumps of these, and I wet my hands, but I do not wet my face because I basically want the product to seep into my skin as much as possible, lift up all that dirt, and just doing it, starting off with a dry face, is it's going to feel better. Trust me. Also, you want to do this for about 60 seconds. Just so that you can really get that product deep inside your skin. Because with cystic acne, all of the acne is literally buried under our skin. So in order to bring those oils out and bring all that dirt out and the bacteria and lift up those dead skin cells you're going to have to wash your face a little bit longer than someone with normal acne and then once you feel it start to get a little too dry and you're not done with your 60 seconds just wet your hands up a little bit more and then go back in now we're just going to go ahead and rinse that off and move on to the next product so this next one is the CeraVe Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser. And I use a little bit of this, but the reason I love this product is one, because it's affordable. And two, because it contains 4% benzoyl peroxide. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Y'all know I'm country. But you want to go ahead and rub this into your face as well. That benzoyl peroxide is very good for treating cystic acne. And with it being 4%, if you have sensitive skin, this is going to be really good for you. And here I'm just going to go ahead and use my spin brush and this is also going to basically give me a light exfoliation while using that cleanser and just ensures that all that product seeps into my skin rather than staying just surface level. And I'll probably do this for an additional, mm, probably like an additional 20 seconds. Not too long though, because I'm not going to lie, it starts to feel a little too rough after a while. And as you can see, that first cleanser got all the dirt off to where there was literally like no dirt left by the time I looked at my spin brush from cleansing my face a second time. And right now, I just noticed that I had some crazy eyebrows going on. So I decided to go ahead and razor that. And if you wanted to, you could go ahead and razor your entire face just to shed away more of the dead skin cells. I didn't feel like it was necessary for me at this time just because I had done it recently. But if you feel like you need it, then go ahead and do it. But you don't want to do it too often. And you also don't want to use a used razor. You want to start with something new. That way you're not basically putting dirt onto your fresh skin because you're getting rid of all that dead skin on top. Now I'm going to wipe my face with a paper towel and not a regular towel. And I know I used to do the towel, but I noticed that with the paper towel, there's a lot less germs, whereas a towel can hold germs even after you wash it or if you use it more than once, you know, just to eliminate all of those issues, I use a paper towel. So now I'm going to use my Freeman clay mask, and this I believe is an apple cider clay mask. And one, I love it because it's pink, but two, you only leave this on for about three to five minutes. So it doesn't have that feeling where I feel like some clay masks, 
it literally just hurts <laughs> like after a while it makes your skin really tight and that's cool but it just gives me like a feeling of not burning but there's some sort of irritation that i have going on whenever a clay mask is on too long and this one i feel like is very good for my skin because it's not too harsh even though it says apple cider vinegar which is known to be a very harsh thing but this didn't feel like that and it still got the job done i still felt very clean afterwards i still felt like my face was just fresh rejuvenated i felt like it pulled away the things now this isn't a peel so it's not going to get rid of like blackheads and things like that but as far as removing the bacteria and dead skin cells that is very helpful especially with cystic acne because that's literally from the research i've done is the main cause of those bumps that we have like growing underneath the skin it's just because the surface level is not clean enough and we may think it's clean after using one cleanser, but literally, I feel like with cystic acne, you have to use at least two cleansers and then medication on top and be very careful not to touch your face, which is literally my bad habit. But I'm just putting this all over my face. And now that that's done, I'm setting my timer for five minutes and I'm just going to listen to a little music while that's going. Y'all know Drake's new album just came out and literally is lit. <laughs> Better than the last album. So after you wash that off after the five minutes, you want to go in with another paper towel just to get everything else off of your face and just dry everything up. And now I'm just going to do my hair because I don't know when my skin is like very clean I just feel I don't know I feel fresh so if my hair is not done it's just like no it's throwing off the vibe so I had to go ahead and put my hair back in a little claw clamp and is it just me or like slick back hairstyles it just make you feel so clean like I don't be wanting to wear makeup. I be feeling very natural whenever I wear like claw clips and slick bags. I wonder if that's just me. All right, so now I'm going in with the 10% benzoyl peroxide gel. And that may sound scary, but trust me, it's not. It doesn't burn or anything like that. And if I use quite a bit of it, I know you see me use like a little pea size, but I had to go back in with more because this literally is going to dry out your skin. And if you have oily skin, this is perfect for the nighttime because you're not worried about looking dry or anything like that because you're probably about to jump right in bed. But this is perfect for that drying out your skin so that those oils aren't producing more bacteria, more dirt, things like that. And plus this has helped with whenever I have like big zits come in, this has definitely helped out with that. And it's three dollars. <laughs> it's three dollars at Target. Like I said, everything that I use, I'm pretty sure everything is at Target. Yeah, it's at Target for sure. And it's not expensive at all. So last I'm gonna go in with the Cetaphil daily moisturizer this is a very very lightweight moisturizer and the only reason i use this is because i don't want to be too too dry like i said that benzoyl peroxide its job is to dry out your skin so that 10 percent dries it a lot so just to add just a little bit moisture into my skin i use the cetaphil daily moisturizing lotion and it doesn't leave me looking oily or anything like that up oh, last but not least let me not forget the lip gloss because child like i said it's winter time we can't be out here with crusty lips but that is the end of my nighttime skincare routine i really hope you all enjoyed it and trust me it may not look like glass skin right now but child i done came a long way using this so i'm currently on my journey and if you want to join this journey with me just get these products and yeah thank you